do this. I don't rec necessarily recommend it. Uh, but in many cases, we would be better off when we look at the pH of, of, and the alkalinity of this. Well, there's, there's many folks that have, have used the green drinks not for losing weight, but for losing acidity. Because what happens is when you start losing the acidity of the body, the weight just naturally comes off. You see the transformation that then takes place. Even animals can start this alkalizing process and need that. It'll extend the quality and quantity of life of all of our domestic animals. Even animals in the wild need to start moving to more of these green foods and green drinks. And a lot of the animals I'll show you here in a minute that I've worked with. Uh, so when we're looking at this pH scale, here we have a listing then of, of acidic foods. This is what happens to us, right? Isn't American getting fat? I, I don't even like saying that. It doesn't make sense to me. America is very acidic. And not only does it affect how we look, but it also affects how we feel and how we think. I mean, we're seeing you know, so many crazy things happening in the world today. Saying, what, is, what is happening to us? I believe what is happening to us is what we're eating and what we're drinking is having a serious impact uh, to, our, to our thought processes. So the acidic, uh, the acidic foods versus the alkaline foods. If...
1986. It's showing the increase age-adjusted six years uh, coronary heart disease death rate per 1,000 men. As you see, as cholesterol goes up, what happens? Deaths go up. So the medical profession and the, and, and the pharmaceutical companies have been using this. But here's the new study. It's showing as cholesterol goes up, okay, we're seeing total cholesterol serum here, non-coronary uh, heart disease in the blue, uh, coronary heart disease. We're seeing as cholesterol goes up to the 300s, 350 and 400s, we'll notice that uh, uh, coronary heart disease actually reduces. Why? Because cholesterol, even low-density low lipoproteins that have been termed what? The bad cholesterol? LDLs? Actually, LDLs are good cholesterol. Just thought I'd let you know. And why are they good? They're buffering the acids that are being produced from our lifestyle and diet. To naturally lower blood cholesterol is very simple. Lower your acidic diets, uh, lower the acidic lifestyle and, and dietary habits, and you'll naturally then bring down uh, the cholesterol levels. The body releases cholesterol in the bloodstream to buffer uh, these metabolic and dietary acids. We proved this with Marin Hell, who while having a family history of hypercholesterolemia, she lost uh, 70 pounds. You'll see in her, this study here, I can get December 96, the cholesterol was 441. Her uh, ratios went from 9 down to 1.7. Look what happened to the LDLs. 357 to 129 with no medication. How did we do?